I am Baiju Kuvindan, Postdoctoral Research Associate in the Department of Entomology at University of Minnesota, St. Paul campus. So the Living Lab project is focused on the phenology of brown marmorated stinker, an invasive species in the Minnesota. It is funded by the Minnesota Invasive Terrestrial Plants and Pest Center through an appropriation from the Minnesota Environment and Natural Resources Trust Fund and the University of Minnesota. The data developed from the project to be used for modeling the dynamics of the test and also for model validation. Uh, the project outcome would help design climate smart IP strategies to manage the test under current and future climate scenarios. So, the brown monomerate sting bug is a serious pest of many horticulture crops and it has reported to cause severe economic losses for apples, peaches, and pear in uh, other states like New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Uh, currently in Minnesota, it is a more of a nuisance pest, a household pest, household invader, and it is not known uh, how serious it can be. Uh, it can be of a pest uh, for many of our horticulture crops when the climate changes. So we need to appreciate how the climate would alter its dynamics in Minnesota, and uh, ways to identify ways to manage this pest. Uh, our project team consists of. Dr. Uh, Bill Hutchison, the principal investigator, and the co PAs, Bob Cook, and Chris Phillips at the Department of Entomology, University of Minnesota. Uh, as well, we have Dr. Peter Snyder and Tracy Trine from the Department of Soil, Water, and Climate uh, at the University of Minnesota involved in this project. Uh, besides me, there is also another research associate, Stefan Lees, who is also working with us on this project. The data from the Living Lab project will be used to validate the predictions from the model, process based model that we are developing. Specifically, we are conducting two experiments. One is the phenology study that we have the eggs collected from the lab and follow them to, from the egg to adult stage through all the five nymphal stages of EMSP and monitor their developmental time of each instar as well as the survivorship. The other study, the old position, in the old position study, we monitor uh, the fecundity of the females and the percentage hatch of the females. This data would be vital to for uh, vital for the development of the process based models. So the spatially explicit model that we develop would be used to uh, study the egg hatch and the peak activity of different stars in the field. And thus this model could really be helpful in developing integrated test management strategies for the press, uh, particularly with less use of insecticides, uh, enhance the biological control, and also to protect the pollinators. Uh, in collaboration with the climatologists, uh, our work would also help predict the uh, phenology and population dynamics of this pest and even the volatility of the pest under current scenarios as well as in future climate scenarios.